Welcome to the Kevin White Show. This is the podcast helping you to prosper in the presence of God. Thank you for subscribing, reviewing, and sharing the show. Kevin White is a global pastor, best-selling author, and international speaker sharing God's message of prosperity for all nations. Kevin has flown over a million miles to 27 different countries and spoken to thousands of audiences throughout the world. As a serial entrepreneur, Kevin has helped start hundreds of businesses, nonprofits, and churches. Kevin's three books, Audacious Generosity, Get to the Point, and What's Your Word, are international bestsellers with over 2 million copies sold worldwide. Kevin is the CEO of Spirit Media, a full-service publishing and marketing company in North Carolina. Okay, who's ready to prosper in the presence of God? Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and help welcome your friend and mine, Kevin White. Good morning. Welcome, everyone. How are you? I'm Kevin White. I'm coming at you live from the USA. I hope you are having a fantastic Jesus-filled day, Tuesday, March 21st, 2023. Say hello to family and friends around the world. Uh, I hope everyone is having a great day. Today is my son Zach's birthday. Happy birthday, Zach. We love you. Um, let us know if anybody else is celebrating a birthday, but I hope you are able to join us Today, there is Pastor Raja from Hyderabad. Uh, namaste to everyone in India. Pastor Zachariah, love you. Love you, Pastor Raja. Uh, Benit, there's Tracy. Um, she's ready to hear about success. I hope you are as well. Arts by Justin is coming at us from the USA. Uh, yeah, Bernard Shaw, thank you for joining me and wishing Zach a happy birthday. Um, our family had a blessed weekend together. There we go. Uh, yes. Uh, wow, Rob, good to see you uh, tuning in from Denver. I hope you are having good weather there and a uh, great, great time. Well, welcome, everyone. I am so thankful to have you in the audience today. Whether you're watching this live or you watch it later, God has a word of encouragement for you, a word of strength, a word of comfort. Raise your hand if you need some comfort today. My hand's raised. How about strength, encouragement? We all do. And so invite your family and friends to join us and receive this word from the Lord. Um, back in December, God began to prompt me to go live in 2023. You know, we live in um, very unusual times. And, you know, we're just going, it seems like, from one disaster to another. We've come out of uh, the... Um, the, the pandemic with COVID-19. And then we hear of all of these wars over in Ukraine and unrest in other parts of the world, um, natural disasters happening. Um, it's being predicted that this summer is going to be uh, one of the hottest summers in the history of the world. Um, and it's like, can we get a break? Uh, everywhere we turn, there's another mass shooting another murder-suicide happening, another young adult who is gone at the expense of uh, fentanyl and opioids. Um, and it just seems like there is so much darkness and uh, then the world spinning, it seems like faster and faster, at least time and our, our busyness. And um, so God really encouraged me to come and bring a word of encouragement to you every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So take a moment and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, you can do it on mine at Kevin White US or Spirit Media's YouTube channel. Um, make sure that you are getting prompted when we go live and that you'll just come in. And if you can't join us live, then at least um, listen to it later. Watch it later. Uh, last week, we shared a word, uh, trust, and I pointed you to this week's word, success, 
Today, we're going to dive into the word success. Next week, we'll be here with the word purity. And that's another thing that God has had me to focus on in 2023. I wrote my book uh, and published it, What's Your Word, back in November. And every chapter is one word from God. And I spoke about how it's a tragedy to hear thousands of words. Every day, we are confronted with literally tens of thousands of words. And it, it is a tragedy to hear all of these thousands of words and never hear one word from God. And yet one word from God can change a person's life, can change a person's direction, can change an entire country, can change the world. Um, this past weekend, I heard someone say the gospel can be summarized in one word, come. I love that. Um, God has spoken powerful words. And today, another powerful word from God in the word success. So are you ready? Put your hands together for the word of God and let's dive in together. We're going to go to Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Paul is saying, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. So Paul is aware of where his help comes from. Are you aware? Are you aware of where your help comes from? Um, let's look at Proverbs 16, verse 3. This is one of the most popular verses on success in the Bible. And it is probably one of the most misunderstood verses as well. But let's take a look at it. Uh, Proverbs verse 16, um, a Proverbs chapter, chapter 16, verse 3. Commit to the Lord whatever you do and your plans will succeed. Now, that is a bold, audacious promise of God. Um, and, you know, I want to just sort of illustrate to you our interpretation 99% of the time to this verse. We think this verse is saying, tell God what you want to do and he will give you success. But that's not what God is saying. And let me just illustrate it like this. We go to God and we say, what is your will for my life? And let's just say that around the world, single people wanting to be married are asking God, what is your will for my life? And God speaks, I want to give you a mate. And this is what we do. You see that? I mean, like we disappear. We take God's will. He says, build my church. And this is what we do. And God is like, where did you go? Jesus said, remain in me and you will bear much fruit. Now, I'm going to date myself, but in college, there was a very popular worship song. Um, I know Sandy Patty sang it um, and there was it was a duo and I can't remember the, the gentleman's name, but it was Jesus Never Fails. And there's other songs that declare that Jesus never fails. Well, you know what that song means? God is always successful. And so we in the, in the church, we will hear God say, I want you to love people. And this is what we do. We receive the will of God and then we dart off and disappear. And God is there through this verse saying, my will requires my way. And in order for you and I to understand the success that God wants to give us, it's got to be done God's way. Commit to doing God's will according to God's way and your plans will succeed. And so it's all about remaining. We, we can't just go into, 
the presence of God, receive his will for a particular matter, and then dart off. We get so impatient in life. You know, we are about to publish a book at Spirit Media entitled Your Time by Danny or Daniel Evans. It's a great little booklet. And one of the first thing it says is that time was made for man, not for God. God is always in now. But you and I have segmented time. The sun comes up. The sun goes down. We have days. We have weeks. We have months. And so we get in our earthly realm the expectations of God accomplishing his will and giving us success now. So we hear God say, feed my sheep, and then we do this. We leave the picture. And God is there, and he has absolutely directed us according to his will, but he is wanting an intimate connection with us moment by moment, day by day, in order to give us his way. And success is according to his way, not my way, not your way, not our way. And so, team, bring this verse back up. Proverbs 16, verse 3. Commit to the Lord whatever you do. What, what the, the verse is saying is commit to following God's will and God's way and your plans will succeed. You know why? Because you're following God's plans. His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And the confidence of success comes in knowing day by day that you are following the plans of God. So I just want to ask you, it's never too late to, to stop going after your own plans and going after God's plan. Jeremiah says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans for good, not for evil. Plans to give you a future and a hope. Do you want God's plans for your life? Are you following God's plan for your life? God's plans for your family. God's plans for your business. God's plans for Tuesday, March the 21st, 2023. How confident are you today that you're going to be successful? The difference is in following God's plans. Now, I want to bring another reality to this conflict between earthly and God's now. And that is the word also says that he makes uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And sometimes our obedience to God looks foolish here on earth. Makes no sense. People don't understand it. But I want you to hear this. God sent me into your life today to say your obedience is 1,000% success. Every time you and I obey the Lord, it is success. Now, on earth, it may not look to be successful at that moment, but you will never, ever go wrong obeying God. And so I want us just to bring all this together. Success is measured by God. How do you measure success? The world will tell you how to measure success. If you listen to culture, you need to be famous. 
You know, there are people that are going to go into public places with semi-automatic weapons and they will take out human life in an attempt to be known, to be successful, to be famous, to be talked about, to be in the news, to be in the international news. The world will tell you that success is fame. It is fortune. It is having um, material possessions, lots of toys, lots of money in your bank account, lots of things stored up for you, by you. And there's, there's no end to it. The world will tell you it's never enough. The enemy will tell you it's never enough. You'll never have enough in savings. You'll never have enough stored up. You'll never have enough um, in your home. You know, here in the U.S., we are having storage units built all around us. Because our homes are so full, we now have to rent additional space to have all of our other belongings put in the storage. Sometimes for decades, never touched, never used. There was a story at a church here in Wake County recently where a family here in our area was moving um, up north and they did not need all of their uh, furniture, and they called the church and they said, um, we are moving and we, we're not going to need our furniture here in the area. And we are hoping that you will know families that will use it. And that church tells the story of how um, a single parent with multiple children had no dining table. And all of a sudden, they went and in this home was a dining table and they gave it to that family. And another man was coming out of prison and he didn't have a bed. And in this home was a bed and now he has a bed. And that house full of furniture blessed so many people. And that is how God measures success. It's not in storing it up. And it's not in... You and I being known, you and I being famous, you and I being um, secure as far as material possessions, but it's in the kingdom of God being advanced. That family could have put their household belongings in storage. Thousands of families across the U.S. and maybe even in your country are doing that. And yet there is already more in storage that would give a bed to every person in the world, most likely. I don't have the statistic on that, but I would, I would just say if there was an international law that there could be nothing left in storage and it all had to be given away, there would be people that were on the floor tonight that would be on a bed. There would be people without homes that would have homes. There would be people without clothes that would have clothes. There would be people without food that would have food. And that's God's measurement of success. And so I just want to ask you, where is your measurement of success coming from? Are you living with such intimacy with the Lord where you are in the crossroads of life saying, God, what honors you right now? That's success. God, what honors you right now? What am I to do that would honor you right now? And I just want, I, I want everyone listening to this show to have that kind of confidence that you know God is leading you on a path of success, not because you are doing this, but because you're doing this. Lord, teach me your ways. And you're remaining 
and you're abiding and you're staying in the Lord's presence and you're hearing His will, but you're, you're also receiving His way. I just finished a book entitled Only God Works. And it talks about this conflict between you and I being so busy doing our work that we have very little time for the work of God. And yet God has to do the work that only God can do. One of the final fulfillments of redemption is the glorification of the Godhead. You'll have to read the book. You'll see it. But if you'll study God's plan of redemption, so creation, he finished and he rested. Jesus on the cross finished salvation. He said, it is finished. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Jesus came to seek and to save those who were lost. He died, was rose again on the third day, fulfilling the forgiveness of sin, giving life, eternal life. Jesus said, it is finished. God's work of redemption continues. And God's got to finish that work. I want you just to hear an excerpt that I wrote in the book. <clears throat> God will produce fruit in and through you the moment you set him free to work in and through you. Only God works means only God produces fruit. When it's said that only God works, it can also be said that only God produces fruit when only God works. No fruit equals, I'm sorry, no work equals no fruit. God's work equals God's fruit. Fruit depends on work, God's work, not your work. And that is true of success. Success is a fruit. It's a product of God's work. And I want you to have confidence that you will be successful in your life, that God will give you success, but it's not from disappearing. Let there be no more disappearing acts in the body of Christ. It is in remaining and following his will in his way. The truth is Jesus never fails. That means God is always successful. So if you and I really do want to be successful and every person with a beating heart wants to be successful, it's found in following God's will in God's way. Look at this verse, Isaiah 41, verse 10. Says, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Where does your strength come from? Does your success depend upon you? God forbid. God forbid spirit media depend upon Kevin White to be successful. God forbid my family have to depend upon me and my success to provide for them. God forbid. I couldn't handle that kind of responsibility, that kind of weight. But yet I stand before you so confident that God is giving me success. My books will bring success. Spirit Media will be successful. Our family will know success because I am really careful to make sure that I am following God's will, God's way. Now, I'm not claiming perfection. I'm not saying that there's something better about me than there is you. This is a path every person on the planet has access to. It's not my path. It is God's path to success. Are you on God's path to success? Are you dependent upon him for your strength? 
God knows as my witness, in the last 30 days, I have desperately been saying, God, you've got to help me. You've got to help me. I need your help here. Show me what to do here. Give me guidance here. And God is so faithful to do that. And I want you to have that same level of confidence. Now, I get tempted to doubt like everyone. I get tempted to worry. Anxiety can come knocking at my door. There's not this supernatural bubble um, over me as if I don't have problems. And so you might be tempted to think, but Kevin, you've got a good salary and you've got You've got a good family and you've got a good wife and you've got a lot of things going for you. So it's easy for you to talk about success. And I want you to understand I'm broken just like you. I live in a broken world just like you. But I have chosen to put my faith in God, not just for eternal life and salvation. Spirit Media is the product of, of me having time in the Lord's presence and Him giving me a guidance that led to the next step. It really, I didn't even know it, but when God called me to write Audacious Generosity in the late fall of 2019, He used the verse, publish His glorious deeds among the nations. Tell everyone the great things He has done. And I was just writing in obedience to God. And I had no clue that today, 2023, I would be the CEO of Spirit Media and it would be growing by leaps and bounds, new clients, new books. God is just giving so much success. And you know what? I can take zero credit for it. The only thing I did was listen to God. And he gave me guidance to the next step, provision for the next need, guidance to the next step, provision to the next need. And so I'm living in an area of freedom. And I want you to know this. I led so many teams over to India with this promise where it's God's will, it's God's bill. That's a call for success. But it starts with God's will. And God's way will bring success. Do you know that as it, as it relates to your life, where it's God's will, it's God's bill. You, to your business, when it's God's will, it's God's bill. To your church, when it's God's will, it's God's bill. Are you assured that your bills are going to be paid because... You're following God's will and God's way. Now, again, I want to be careful and help you to understand before we close out that sometimes we follow God's will and God's way and we can't pay our bills. But he is still faithful. He will never fail. At that moment in, in earthly view, it looks like complete failure. And I'm not standing here saying that Spirit Media will not go bankrupt someday. God forbid. And if it does, there will be some reason that God will use it for His glory. But I have full confidence that where it's God's will, it's God's bill. And I'm confronting bigger bills every single month as Spirit Media continues to grow. But I am confident that God will give us success. I'm dependent upon Him. It's not being built on my, on my life. It's being built on Him. I can't wait for you to read uh, Only God Works. It will be out very soon. God has really accelerated it. I can't wait to announce some things to you in the coming weeks. But uh, can we just get an amen from the Lord for the success that He gives us? You know, I want to just end with this and then we're going to close. But all of this promise never should lead us to a spirit of entitlement. 
it should really just sober us to a place of humility. God, are you serious? You're giving me this kind of success. You know, I don't deserve it. It's only by your hands that I have what I have. I am what I am. And wow, the glory that that brings to our Heavenly Father when we just let it turn into humility instead of entitlement. If you think you deserve God to make you successful, then you're not hearing this verse. But if you realize it's in spite of you, it's in spite of me that I have any success in my life, and it's all by the grace and the goodness of the Lord, then you're right in the flow that God wants you to be in. Amen? Well, God bless you. I will be back here next Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern time with a word of purity because purity precedes prosperity. We're talking about success, but I hope you've heard already God setting the stage for purity. Well, I love you. Thank you, everyone. I love to see these comments. God bless you, Pastor Mion. God bless you, Barbara. God bless you, all of our team at Spirit Media. I'll see you back here next week here on the Kevin White Show. And one last thing, tonight at 7 p.m., we are celebrating the new release of a book by Angela Cunningham Sims. You can watch it on YouTube or Facebook, but join us at 7 p.m. Eastern time as we celebrate another great book of good news to the nations through Spirit Media. I'll hope to see you then. Otherwise, I'll see you soon. God bless you all. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing The Kevin White Show. Visit kevinwhite.us for Kevin's blog, videos, books, and more, all geared toward helping you prosper in the presence of God. That's That's kevinwhite.us. Kevin's books are available on Amazon and everywhere books are sold. Contact Spirit Media for all your publishing and marketing needs at spiritmedia.us. Spirit Media, taking the message of God through the people of God to the nations. Visit spiritmedia.us today. This has been The Kevin White Show. Find the complete archive of all episodes at kevinwhite.us or subscribe for free through your favorite podcast player and never miss an episode. This program, copyright Kevin White International, all rights reserved. We will see you back here every Tuesday on The Kevin White Show with another powerful message of prosperity in the presence of God.